Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. I have been posting from different venues or avenues or platforms, but I haven't posted on YouTube in a long time. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Audrey Atuka. I do all things spirituality, mindset. Um, I just really love empowering people to be their best and ultimate self. And so that's what I do here on my platform. This video is going to be about my predictions and forecasts for 2020. Everybody and their mama are going to be posting videos about predictions and forecasting and what they think that 2020 is going to um, have in store for everybody. So <laughs> I decided to join the crew and join the gang and actually do mine as well because I feel like I have some key, key points or key notes that I can give people to get through the year. So I felt led to do it. I'm going to do it. I have to give a disclaimer. Predictions and forecasting are, they vary or they're variants because they can be changed, right? So you don't have to take a prediction or a forecasting as your personal thing. Like for example, people who go to people who do readings and tarot cards and all those things, you can either accept it as your reality or you can choose to change it. It's up to you. To do that you can do that um and i feel like a lot of people when they get readings and stuff they think it's concrete it's not concrete it's very fluent so you can definitely change it now these predictions are just based on what i am intuitively picking up on or what i'm being guided to share with you guys so that's what i'm going to do i've always been a person that's intuitively inclined even though i feel like everybody has the ability to be able to predict and see things and and um use your sixth sense a little bit better. I feel like for me, I've always been in an environment where I'm encouraged to use my senses. Um, and so I've kind of gotten to a point where it's become not second nature, but it is my nature. Thank you for subscribing. I gotta learn to slow down because sometimes I tend to rush it because I'm like, okay, make this video short. Don't make this video long. Don't nobody wanna watch no long ass videos. Okay, you know what? If you don't want long ass videos, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you because this girl's long-winded. Okay, let's get into the video, okay? So personally, what I'm focusing on is the decade. I'm focusing on 2020 to 2030 in my own personal life. The reason why I'm doing that is because there's so much pressure when you're just focusing on one year, right? So you have all these things that you want to do. And a lot of the desires that we have are long-term desires. So to... Try to put that long-term desire in a short-term goal will frustrate the heck out of you. It will literally frustrate you. It will leave you feeling like the social pressure of achieving, and then it will make you compare yourself with other people. And these are the steps that lead to depression, I promise you. Comparing yourself to other people will lead you to depression. It will have you anxious and feeling pressure and anxiety, and then you'll start feeling a lot of fear. So... How I'm taking that little burden off myself this year is I'm not going to do a yearly goal. I'm going to do a decade goal. So I'm focusing on 10 years. Maybe you want to start out with five years, but narrowing it down and make it and condensing it. If you condense it and put it in a year's time, you're not going to achieve a lot of your goals and you're going to feel like I didn't really do anything and you're going to be frustrated. And so by stretching it out, you give yourself the gift of time right? The gift of time. Because if I know that I have 10 years, I know that a lot of my goals will take time. And I'm going to be guided because I'm going to be a little more chill, a little more relaxed to be led and be guided. So I get to that process, okay? Or I get to that place where I'm trying to go. I talk a lot with my hands. So excuse me if that bothers you, but hey, it is what it is. So um, 10 years makes it a lot easier because it relieves that burden, right? And then I want you to realize this. You have the power to dictate for yourself what your life is because up until now, you've pretty much made your life what it is. And if you're a young person and you're watching the video, I'm so glad that you are watching this video because even if you're under someone's authority, say for example, your parents make the rules and all that stuff, you can still work on your perspectives of how you see things, right? The year 2020 is a pivotal, it's a pivotal point because 
it's the beginning of a decade. No, duh. I could have told you that. Okay. Well, okay. Good for you. Thank you for your cynicalism. That's not a word. A pivotal moment where the universe is literally going to do this. You know when you like pick up your blanket at one edge and just go whoop, you know? It's flipping things, right? So what happens in that flip is everything that didn't want to move has to move. I'm talking. I kind of sound a little bit like um, what I sound like. Cryptic. Yeah, I'm not trying to be cryptic. So I'm going to explain what I mean to you guys. Okay, so you are going to be forced to deal with things that you've refused to deal with in the past decade. So in this decade, you are going to have to deal with a lot of stuff that you've tried to ignore. You've probably tried to like run away from. You've not had the chance or the opportunity to actually look over. You're going to have to deal with them in this decade that we're stepping into. This is a time to heal. This is a time to go through the journey. This is a time to walk through that part of yourself, of getting to know yourself. This is a time to um, zone inwards. I was going to say internally. Zone internally. You have to kind of like tune in words to yourself and figure out who you are, what you're doing, what's your purpose. And what I mean by purpose, I'm not talking about a linear journey because we look at purpose as a linear course where we feel like there's an end result. No, I'm talking about purpose in terms of what do you have to offer the world? And before you say you don't have nothing to offer the world, don't make me smack you off the head. You have something to offer the world because you are alive and existent. There's something that you have to offer. Don't ever, anytime you start believing that you don't have anything to offer anybody, that's a lie. It is a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. You have so much to offer. And it doesn't have to be something super complicated or uh, they're like, oh my God, that person took 10 bullets, 12 bullets, and then you survive a tsunami, a tornado, and then rescued 20 people and then gave up his life for humanity. Oh, what a legacy. It doesn't have to be that. That's, in, that's extreme, that's dramatic. And we always like relegate those that like do the simple stuff, like people that make people around them smile, people that compliment people, people that make people feel good about themselves. That's an achievement as well. So keep that in mind, okay? Thoughts, actions, and deeds. What can you offer to the world? And by world, you got to start with people, those those around you. You got to start around those, those people that like... So family, if you don't have family, realize that family is not just blood. Family is... Family is love. Family are those that care about you. And if you don't have people that care about you, I suggest you use the internet appropriately. I have found so many incredible people on the internet that I've bonded with. And so anyway, yeah, that being said, okay. So what I foresee is those that haven't started their journeys in 2020, you're going to be forced to take that path. You're going to be forced to take that journey. You're going to be forced to heal. You're going to be forced to do it because you have no other choice. You've technically kind of ran out of time on your own and now you're going to be forced to do it. Now, when somebody gets that whole like push or move, like when they put, when you're like, I don't know what that is. You know, when you like, you take your rug and you do this to it, whatever, and it has that rippling effect. And if, if all the dust particles have to like kind of fly off the thing or whatever, you're being forced to do it. And usually when you're being forced to do something, people have a tendency to do two things. And the two things that they either do is they will go with the flow, all right? Or they will hang on for dear life. <laughs> they're like, everything's falling apart. Hang on for dear life. Okay, not that dramatic, but you get the point. And if you choose to resist, right, you will have a very hard time. What you need to learn how to do is, is, um, what's that phrase? The phrase is ease into the tide. That's not the phrase. That's not the phrase I was looking for at all. That was not the phrase, okay? Um, learn to go with the flow, right? Um... Learn to go with the flow. I'm trying to find. I'll put. I'll put it on the. I'll put it on the screen when I think of the phrase I'm looking for. Okay. So, anyways, but you need to learn how to go with the flow. Now, those that go with the flow will have a very, very easy time 
2020. You'll have a good time. You'll those that know how to regulate, adjust their attitudes, go with the flow. They know how to check themselves. They know how to pick themselves up. They know how to get out of depression. Like people who are regulated, people who have been doing their alignment work, people who know how to align themselves, people know how people who know how to like adjust their attitude. You're gonna have a good time. Okay, it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be a pivotal moment that's gonna just set you on the course that you've already been on. This is you know. This is great. Good for you. Kudos. Pat, pat yourself. Pat yourself. Okay. Anyways, but for those of you that haven't been doing it and those of you that don't even know what stepping into alignment looks like, those of you that like still tussle and struggle with questions and, and those of you that suffer from anxiety, a lot of anxiety and depression, you're going to have a hard time if you choose not to face those things that you're avoiding looking at. 2020 is your year to finally say, I'm tired of not facing my fears. I'm tired of not looking at this thing head on and facing it. And then you got to ask yourself, what is it that is causing my depression? And usually, oh, I have a great video. I'm going to link it in the description box. And I'm also going to put it on the screen. I have a great video on how to heal depression. So check out that video. It'll really help you out. But you need to learn and get the tools, gain the tools, gather the tools, look for people that can help you get around people that are going to be like good energy for you in the, in this 2020 and in, in the years and the decade, because the 2020 is pivotal because it's the one that starts the chain reaction. So how you handle 2020 kind of like sets the tone for what it will be like. But at any point in time, you can change your mind. That's the beauty of what, how we are created or how we are put together is you can always change your mind. Yes, at first it seems like work, but once you get into a routine, it's a lot, it's very easy. It's kind of easy to do. Anyways, another thing that was really highlighted for me was there's going to be a lot of situations where there's a lot of fear, a lot of things that are like being talked about that seem very chaotic. The way that you deal with chaos is you step into love and we are going to be forced to either step into love or just be crippled by fear and I'm suggesting that you step into love stepping into love is easy stepping into love is you're going to have to look at yourself and love yourself first and then you're going to have to look at situations and love others it's so easy to love others and I find that when I'm loving on other people for some reason I start loving myself even more when I start finding myself in other people like don't look at people and be like, yeah, he's a horrible person. But look at them and be like, yeah, there was a time when I used to be nasty too. There was a time when I used to be really mean and mean-spirited. There was a time when I cussed somebody out real quick. There was a time when I had a temper. There was a time when I had anger issues. And if you look at it that way and look at the person, then you're thinking, okay, you know what? There was a time that I used to do stuff like that. So I'm going to grace them. I'm no different. I'm no better. Nobody's better than anybody. Nobody's more special. The need to be special, kill that thing. Another thing I really wanted to point out was this year, you're going to see a lot of religious leaders that are going to be denouncing what they've previously believed in. And that's not a bad thing. That's actually a really good thing. So they've been on a, a, a personal journey of realizing that what they thought was, isn't. And you're going to see a lot of more, a lot of spiritual leaders or a lot of not religious leaders or I don't know, religious leaders. They're going to literally be recanting certain belief systems. They're going to put it out there that they don't believe in certain things. So look out for that. That's going to be something that's going to be very prevalent. And we're going to see it a lot. I felt like Benahim was a chain starter for that. And I, I applaud him. I applaud him. I applaud him. I wish he had come out sooner. But I applaud him. Um, I'm encouraging anybody that watches this video that might be a spiritual leader or whatever and stuff like that. If you no longer believe in something, it's time to let your people know because... It's time to let you people know. I'm just saying. Anyways, um, another thing that I sensed is going to happen this year is it's going to cause people to reflect on how we relate with one another as human beings. And then, um, and that, that's also with love. One of the biggest things that's going to happen in this decade is going to, there's going to be such an influx of knowledge. And I'm so thrilled for it because I'm here for it. I'm such a seeker. Um, I love information and I love uh, knowing what's happening in the world. Because I love knowing what's happening in the world, 
I love what's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of knowledge. There's going to be a lot of information. And it's going to actually rattle your cages a little bit because it's going to come up against the things that you've previously believed, right? So a lot of the new things that are going to be happening is almost like an unraveling and you're going to feel very unsettled. But when you're feeling unsettled, realize this. There once was a time when you didn't believe what you believe now, right? You're going to be okay. And if you are flexible enough and not rigid where it's like, this is what I believe in. Yeah, but sometimes what you're believing in is wrong, right? Or you probably don't have the full picture of what it is that you're believing in. So have an open mind. Have an open mind to grow. Have an open mind that is not rigid in life. And I feel like that's the detriment of religion. Religion is always like, we are right. This is how it is. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but religion is just like that. And so what it does is it becomes stronghold against you learning something new. But here's how I gauge it, right? Truth and love will always have results for you. So if you're not experiencing the results that you want to see in your life, it means that truth and love isn't prevailing. That there's something that you know, right, that is not serving you. Something that you you do regularly and habitually in your paradigm, in your mindset, in your framework that doesn't serve you, that is not working for you. And how you change that is you are free to grow. You learn new things and you adjust certain things of yourself so you see the results that you want to see. If you're not seeing the results you want to see, change your paradigm, change your mindset, change the, your belief system, right? So it works for you. Don't be rigid and be like, this is what we've always done. Traditions sometimes can hinder you from living your best life. Traditions can get in the way sometimes. I'm not saying that they're all traditions are bad. I'm just saying that the, some traditions sometimes cripple you from being your ultimate self. So you have to be flexible. You have to know what areas that you want to like cut tail or what areas that you really want to pay attention to to actually adjust. Okay. In the days to come, you want to hear. Okay, make sure that you're listening. And first and foremost, make sure that you're listening to, ah, you're listening to spirit. Because spirit is the most important thing. Spirit is always the most important thing. Spirit is so important. Oh, you need to listen to your spirit. Anyways, um, I love you guys. I don't think I have anything else that I wanted to say in this video. I have so much content that I want to put out this year. So I'm so, 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 so excited for the whole process. It's going to be so amazing. And I'm so glad that you're going to be um, on this journey with me. I look forward to just having a ball with you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Happy New Year in advance. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. I'm just putting out that energy to you. Receive it. Receive it. Stretch out your hand. What the heck are you doing, man? I'm stretching out my hand. You got to stretch out your hand and be like, I receive it. That was like booby grabbing. I'm so sorry. That was... That was lame. I don't know what I just did. But anyways, I'm super excited. Super, super, super excited. 2020 to 2030 will be the greatest, most awesome decade of my life. What are you speaking into your decade or your life? And definitely think about it again. Um, make sure that you do have a goal and you do have stuff that you're working towards because it keeps you... Uh, tunnel vision or not necessarily tunnel vision but where there is no vision if you don't have something that you're working towards you are literally going to be depressed and i keep saying this depression thing a lot but a lot of things can lead to depression so it's really um it's it's important that you're mindful to watch those things anyways i love you guys so much hey don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Remember to shine your light, okay? Because your light is going to free other people to be themselves.